foursomes and four ball, two popular formats of the game for both stroke and match play. But the question is, what is the difference between these formats and how can you play them? Well, don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna give you absolutely everything you need to know so you can go out and play them for yourself. First off though, before I delve into everything, if you're new to our YouTube channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. So most of you are probably well aware of how these formats work and you'll see them played in match play events like the Ryder Cup and Solheim Cup but you know they can be a wee bit tricky if you're new to the game. First off let's look at foursomes or to give it its other name alternate shot and that kind of sums it up nicely. Basically you and your partner are playing with just one single golf ball and you're alternating between the two of you on who's hit the shot. For instance, if I was to hit the opening tee shot, my partner would then hit the second shot, I would hit the third, and they would hit the fourth, and so on until you get the golf ball in the hole. Now, if I've teed off on the opening hole, then my partner would have to tee off on the second hole, and I would continue teeing off, hitting the tee shots on the odd number holes, and my partner would hit all the tee shots on the even numbered holes. And honestly, it's just as easy as that. You're alternating between the two of you, one single golf ball, and you can play foursomes. Now let's look at what happens when you bring handicaps into the equation. Well, if you and your playing partner are playing foursomes as part of a stroke play event, how it will generally work is you combine your two handicaps and then divide them by two. So 50% of your combined handicap is what you would receive. In a match play situation, you'll take the combined handicap of both teams, let's call it 28 for team A and 14 for team B. You'll then subtract the 14 from the 28, that leaves 14 shots, and then you have to divide that by two. So team B will be receiving seven shots over team A. Now on to four ball, once again really dead simple and easy once you've got the hang of it. It's also known as better ball or best ball uh, and each member of the team they're using their own golf ball throughout the round and all you do is you play as you normally would and then you take the best score from each hole, the low score from each hole. So for example if one member of the team was to make a four and a par four and the other member was to make a three make a birdie, you would take down the birdie. One of the great things about four ball is it really brings strategy into play. For example, you've got two golf balls, so you might as well make the most of them. If you have a tight fairway in front of you, then one of you might just want to take an iron out for safety, leaving the other player to take the driver out and try and take on the tee shot. Then if you're approaching a par three, one of you might just hit for the middle of the green, try and play it safe, the other one might go attacking the pin. When you're on the putting green, if you're both faced with birdie putts, one of you longer than the other, one player might just want to try and lag it up there, secure the par, and leave the other player to really attack their birdie putt. And it's great, you know, if you're playing a par five, if someone just wants to lay up and try and play things safe, and another one can take on, you know, the second shot, try and set up an eagle opportunity. I think that's why, personally, I prefer playing four ball, because it allows you to really be a little bit more creative with your strategy, and yeah, just a little bit more fun, in my opinion. Now when handicaps come into effect with four ball, if it's a stroke play situation, you're going to get 85% of your handicap allowance, and if it's match play, 90%. So let's say you have a handicap of 10 and you're playing in a four ball stroke play event, your handicap allowance will now be 8.5, if it was match play because of the 90%, it'll be 9. So both foursomes and four ball, two really fun team formats of the game. Such great fun to watch in events like the Ryder Cup and Solheim Cup, really entertaining. And yeah, just so easy to get the hang of. So go play them for yourself, sign yourself up to either a foursomes or a four ball event. You know, you'll have a lot of fun with one of your partners. And if you have any questions about these formats, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and thank you very much for watching.